Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got a big time player of the month showdown brewing for the upcoming League One POTM SBC, and we gotta talk about it because who is gonna win? One rat or the other? Both very popular players in FC24. One of them is getting an SBC soon. I want to talk about that and everything going on with this game right now related to future stars. A new team of the week today, which usually we don't talk too much about team of the week. But today it looks absolutely cracked. And we got to talk about the market, guys, that is just continuing to fall. People are losing coins everywhere because of the state of this game right now. So I want to talk about that in today's video and a lot more of what to expect for today on this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content as we always do. We had a player SBC yesterday, guys. The second of probably two this week. Icon SBCs for future stars. It was Frank Rijkaard. We kind of talked about it in yesterday's video. He was the only leaked card. We weren't sure if we were going to get him as the SBC or not. And he indeed was that player. Now, center defensive mid, but a lot of people are looking at this card as a center back with that alternate position. Guys, the SBC... The price is the best thing about it. It's not that bad. It's grindable, especially with the menus in this state. But the card is really not that amazing, you could say. 82 passing and 81 dribbling and pretty high defense and physical. I mean, it's a solid card. Don't get me wrong. But without a double play style plus and with that pace being a little bit low, I think some people are not liking this just because of the fact that the card doesn't look as meta. And let's be honest, guys, this isn't a card that gets into a lot of people's teams straight away. A lot of you guys probably have better cards than this, but it's 270,000 coins. It's only six SBCs. And once you take out the bronze and the silver, that means it's only four SBCs. So it's not bad, right? It could be a lot worse. I wish they would have given him Anticipate Playstyle Plus. Just imagine that card. Even with the same stats, with that Anticipate Plus, he would be a whole lot better. So again, just an okay SBC. Very craftable. And I mean, decent, right? We'll just chalk it up to that. It is an icon. Dutch links as well. So you could have Rijkaard and you could have VVD in your defense if you wanted to. The other SBC that we had yesterday was the 87 plus Team of the Group Stage Winter Wild Cards or FC versus player pick i can't believe this is 42 percent upvoted guys like i know that it's you know it's a fun sbc to do and you know it's a player pick so there's fun aspects about that and it's craftable right now like i did it yesterday to try it out because it is craftable i mean let's be honest with the two squads required an 83 and an 85 rated squad it is easy to get done with the craftability of the menus with all the upgrade packs and the player picks that are out the problem with this is though why are they requiring 287s? That's what I don't like. That seems way too much for this, especially because you're going to have 287s that come out of the player pick. And guys, as it always is with these cheaper gamble upgrade player picks and packs, usually the weight is not that good. And that was the case for a lot of these. Man, a couple people yesterday had some big pulls, but I got like an 88 or an 87 rated card out of mine. It was not very good. I think we opened like four or five on stream even, and Courtois might have been the best one. So yeah, rinse through it if you want to with your fodder, if you're crafting through the upgrades in the menus. But uh, yeah, 287 rated is kind of wild to require in my opinion. But they also required a team of the week. So more demand for those team of the week cards, but it didn't really make them move too much on the market. That was all the SBC content yesterday. We'll talk about the market a lot more. Don't worry. That was all the SBC content. We're going to go to objectives really fast as well, because inside of objectives here, we, if you missed it last night, we talked about it at the end of the video, but a lot of you guys noticed the bonus objective, which I just finished and I will be claiming it because I would like to get level 20 and me claiming this objective right now is literally going to give me all the XP that I need to get to level 20. So let's just claim this right here and watch our XP go up like crazy. 4,000 XP earned, and then bang, I have all of these packs to open today on stream. I'm going to take the 84 times 20, and I am i don't think I'm going to save anything. Maybe I'll save one or two for Future Stars Team 2, just to have one big pack to open. But uh, yeah, that was a W objective that EA released late yesterday. But we also had a new Future Stars Champs bonus. And there's some good packs in here, guys. I know not everybody plays champs. Uh, and if you don't want to grind it, then that's fine. But, like, there is an 87 times 4 in here for winning 40 champs finals. So it's a bit of a grind. Uh, but then also, this is going to be kind of, if you're really into Evos. Wait, they made it 25 wins. Oh, 25 wins to get 
the first Evo slot for the Red Champs card. I guess this maybe is out for a little bit longer. It's out for 27 days, so you got many weekend leagues in there to get this done. But evidently, this is the first Champs Evo that is not going to allow you to put an in-progress evolution player inside the Evo. So the whole Evo glitching thing basically is over with that, or so we think. So that's one quick note about that if you're somebody who's been into Evos pretty hardcore. And uh, I'm going to save that weekly objective to maybe give myself 500 XP for when we start the new season tomorrow. Last call for XP today, guys, because tomorrow is the start of the new season. Now, let's talk about some other action from yesterday, specifically with Road to the Finals, because we had two cars that emerged victorious yesterday from the two games that were played. Tony Cruz, Real Madrid, and Gavardiol, Manchester City, are getting upgrades pretty soon. They will be going plus one overall because their teams were victorious. Again, I was... I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was hoping for draws yesterday. And that's the way this new format kind of makes us think, at least a little bit. For the more cards get upgraded when there are draws, right? Because it is a draw or a win, which upgrades a card in this first knockout stage game. But since City won and since Madrid won, it is a win to chalk it up for just an upgrade to these two cards. Now, they're going to get a plus one, right? So their plus one overall will probably be like a normal plus one. It'll be plus one to every stat, and they'll probably give plus two to one or two stat categories. I think that's a normal plus one in form upgrade. But the question I have is, and maybe you guys are wondering as well, when do these cards get upgraded? Now, if you go into the fine text, fine print text on EA's website here, when will players be upgraded in game? They say upgrades will go live in game starting on the Friday after the first round of knockout stages. This means Road to the Final players will be upgraded at the end of a week following a milestone victory or qualification. So to me, that means that since the, at the end of this week, there will be not only just Gavardio and Tony Cruz, but since there are more Road to the Final games, more UCL games today, those players that eclipse those thresholds or draw or win, basically that's the threshold, should get upgraded this Friday. I mean, that's kind of the way that I'm reading it. Uh, first round of the knockout stages. The only way that I could see this not being an upgrade potential for these cards this Friday is this is if... EA means first round of knockout stages like every first leg game has been played. So that would be not this Friday, but next Friday. I could see it being that as well. That would be a little bit less hype because, of course, when you have a card that kind of meets a threshold to get an upgrade, like gets a win or whatever they have to do, you want to see the card upgraded in the game pretty fast, right? So let's hope they upgrade these cards this Friday along with whoever wins in today's games. Of course, we've got Bayern versus uh, Lazio, so Genduzzi is on the line here. Same thing with Kimmich. A lot of people were very hyped for that card, myself included, have to do in that SBC. And they've also got PSG uh, versus Sociedad, so Marino versus Donnarumma. And guys, you might be looking at some of these prices and be like, Nate, what in the world happened to Road to the Finals? Yeah, guys, yesterday, I'm very glad that we kind of talked about selling some of these cards because if you were able to get them out before the big crashes, these cards dropped a ton. And really, I think they were just propped up a little bit artificially by investors. And I think also it's a price correction like we've been talking about for the whole rest of the market with how cheap and overpowered still some of these Future Stars cards are. And the fact that we're getting more Future Stars on Friday and more Evos on Friday, especially that hurt midfielders yesterday. And I want to talk about that a little bit later. But Genduzzi was like one of the biggest price drops of yesterday. 100,000 coins down to 53K. He did, he did then rebound back to 70,000 coins because there was so much panic selling. And when you see big, big drops like this, oftentimes there are some bounce backs. Uh, Leon Bailey yesterday was a card that dropped to 150. He's now back up to 180. I even traded the, a little bit of this yesterday. I think I bought a Marino at like 57K and sold it at um, 67 or something like that. I bought a Javi Simons before the game for 330,000 coins, and I sold it very safely before the game actually started back here at like 360. He went up to 400K because Leipzig were looking good during the game, but now he's down to 300,000 coins. This is a card that I think I wouldn't hold on to. Like I, If I had this Javi Simons or if I was even thinking about buying him, I would wait because I think he drops further in price before the second leg game here in a couple of weeks. So that's a card I would probably stay away from uh, right now. That's the only card that is on the market that lost yesterday. The Copenhagen card was an objective. So he is, uh, of course, uh, zero coins, right? Not on the market. But the rest of these cards are down bad. And they were going to move today. The cards, especially Marino, Donnarumma, 
And then, of course, the other items that are in play today. I mean, Kimmich is an SBC, so that one's there. But then Ganduzi, it's kind of the cheaper cards today that are in action for the live games. Closely watch those. Selling into the hype is probably your best bet, especially on the lower tier cards that are invested in a lot. But once again, these cards move different this year. And it's going to be something that we have to watch over the course of this promo because now the draw, where before a draw would not get you an upgrade, a draw actually gets you an upgrade. So as you saw on Javi Simon's graph right there, what we noticed is that as the game was continuing on at 0-0, because it was 0-0 until the second half and a little bit into the second half, Javi Simon's price just slowly kept rising because more and more people believed, okay, they might actually draw this game and Javi Simons might get an upgrade. So that's something very interesting to watch out with these cards is... If there's a goal, if they concede, they're going to drop, of course, like Javi Simons did. But also, if there's no goals, which usually in previous years would make them drop because a draw wasn't a part of the upgrade, but this year it is. So they kind of just keep trickling upwards in price. So that's something that's very interesting to keep an eye on with these cards as the games are going on. So apart from that, yesterday was a bit of a slower day. But to be completely honest, guys, the menu grind is still 100% intact. It is still 100% worth it to log in and do as many 80 plus player picks as you can do. Guys, these player picks are incredible, man. Um, I had a really insane pack pull yesterday, and I think I have three player picks right now to open up. Hopefully we get some good ones. But the fodder from these is great. 84 Hakimi. I've packed Hakimi maybe once or twice this year. Don't see him very often at all. 85 daily, right? Oh, this is lovely. I could get an 81 rated here and I wouldn't care after the 84 and the 85 and I still get an 84. W, man. Like these picks consistently give out such good fodder. I've crafted multiple squads of Cafu. I crafted the player pick yesterday. The crafting on the menus right now is just elite. Um, again, do the daily bronze, silver, and golds to get the golds. Put the golds into the player pick. I'm even starting to spend a little bit for the gold rares because I need them, but that's fine. I think it's worth it with how good the crafting is. You make your money back with fodder easily. So that's kind of the menu grind right now. Let's look ahead because technically this was part of yesterday, but not a lot of people are talking about it because it's not happening in a couple of days. But we have to get that kind of process stewing in our minds because this could be potentially a massive, massive SBC Yes, guys, we're talking about the League One Player of the Month vote. This could be big, guys, because in the voting, we have Martin Terrier and we have Wissam Ben Yedder and Kylian Mbappe in the vote. Now, this vote is going to be open for probably a week. I think they put this out, what is obviously yesterday on Tuesday. The vote will probably be out for four, five, six days, maybe a little bit less than a week. And then we'll probably see the actual winner of the SBC released, I would think, next week that's usually how it goes like they drop the, uh, the voting it's out and then the sbc comes the week after i'm checking right now for who was our most recent okay a bomb yang's sbc expires in 10 days so sometimes there's an overlap sometimes there is not but that's the league one player of the month sbc that is out right now i mean another one could come out before a bomb yang goes away we'll just have to see but like next thursday would be a prime time for this sbc to, re to be released but the question is who wins who, okay, pick your poison, I guess, is what we should really be saying because Ben Yedder has not had any special cards this year, but he is a certified FIFA rat of years old. And Ben Yedder played the month's cards have been unbelievable in years past. He's got the base four-star skills and the five-star weak foot. He does have a playstyle plus this year, and it is chip shot. Uh, chip shot playstyle plus is maybe not the best, but he also has Tiki Taka, Technical, Flair, and Trivella. They're definitely going to have to juice this card up. If he wins player of the month, hopefully he gets like an 88 rated player of the month card, 87 or 88. That would be fantastic. But you give him a plus five boost on these stats right here. You're looking at a really, really meta card, especially if they give him a playstyle plus and a couple of other playstyles. It's going to be a genuinely insane card, and it's probably going to be a bit cheaper than if Mbappe wins. And the reason I'm talking about Ben Yedder first is because I think he has the best chance to win. Now, there were only two matches played in this last month, and it does seem a little bit weird that they're going to award a Player of the Month award for two matches played, but that's neither here nor there. Ben Yedder has two goals and a one assist in two matches during this last month of January. Mbappe has one goal, one assist in two matches, and Terrier has two goals. What do we always talk about, guys, right? Yes, the fan vote matters a bit in this, but Mbappe was in the fan vote last month, and he had similar comparable stats to Aubameyang, but Aubameyang just had a couple of more contributions. I think he actually had like one or two more assists than Mbappe did, and he's the one who ended up winning the player of the month, obviously, so we have the SBC here. So Mbappe's in the voting again, but since Yedder has 
two goals and especially three contributions, I genuinely think that Ben Yedder has a very good chance of winning this player of the month. That's who I voted for just because do we need another Mbappe player of the month? I know some of you guys are maybe like, I didn't do the 92 Nate, or I didn't do the 93, or I did the 92 and I want to upgrade it to a 94. Because if you imagine a 94 Mbappe, that would be the best version of Mbappe in the game, um, apart from his team of the year card. So you're talking, hopefully, an actual 99 pace Mbappe. If they were to release a 94, you're probably looking at an SBC, though, that's going to end up being, again, the 93 was how much? 4.4 million coins when it expired between 4 and 4.8 mil with the fluctuations of fodder. You're probably looking at an Mbappe SBC that's 5 mil plus. I mean, fodder is low right now, but a 94 Mbappe, they're not going to make that cheap. It's going to be very, very expensive and very tough to do. So we will probably get some news of who's going to win, especially because it's so hyped between Mbappe and Yetter for this player of the month. The voting is probably going to go until next week. We'll get some leaks. We'll get some news next week and probably see who's going to win then and be able to prepare a little bit more. If Mbappe does win, we will need to buy some higher rated fodder if it's still low at that point because he'll be expensive and it's Mbappe SBC. Fodder always moves for an Mbappe player of the month. If it's Ben Yedder, probably won't move as much. So that's kind of the big news that's like looming. Now, before we even get to those player of the months and talking about those, we are getting two player of the month SBCs this week still. Uh, Florian Verts and Bundesliga player of the month is going to be going away. I got to finish this SBC. Um, and then we are going to be getting another Bundesliga Player of the Month as well as another Premier League Player of the Month, which it's actually, in my opinion, I think it might be Kevin De Bruyne that wins because he had a great month in January and he might have the most contributions. I forget about that voting, who it was going to be. But watch out for leaks for that because that could be coming pretty soon. And that could be a big one. So let's talk about the market a little bit more because as we mentioned, it's mudded. And a lot of you guys know it is freaking mudded. I was able to get a couple of good flips here. Rooney, we did buy on the video last night or right before the video at 1.2. Sold them at 1.3. Um, let's see. The other ones in here, like the Javi Simons was good profit. There's the Marino that I flipped for a little bit of profit. I got a crazy snipe on Saliba yesterday. Random spur of the moment checking his price. He was 160, sold it for 200. And these are all the ones that I was getting out of last night. I sold Renato for a tax loss. And I still have Boniface. I have three Boniface that I picked up for 272,000 coins. He's approaching 300K. Uh, this is a card that is actually defying the odds of the market right now. Yeah, he's 294, 292. There's an undercut at 281. He's starting to rise up a bit. I think there's just so much hype for this card. I mean, I'm telling you guys, he is a beast. Um, but a lot of cards, man, you look at the road to the finals, you look at the rest of the market, and even these future stars cards, they are just down bad. And guys, I don't really, I don't really love the market for the next couple of days. I think it's going to stay pretty low. I think prices are going to continue to stay in the same range or maybe even drop a little bit just because the hype right now for this game is just with these cards that are super uber packable and they're so packable through the menu grind, but also um, the evolutions. And I really think the evolutions are having more and more of an impact also with the lack of hype as well for the gameplay and for this game at the moment with a lot of people being frustrated with the store like we talked about at length yesterday. There's a lot of frustration with that, which probably leads to a de decrease in some of the gameplay as well. But I want to focus in on that midfielder Evo for just a second because if you look at midfielders on the market, they are down way more than other uh, areas of the market because people are fearing what that midfielder Evo is going to do to midfielders like it already has messed up attacker prices and defender prices, specifically when those Academy Evos were dropped. Take a look at Taram's Dynasties card from 160k down to 119,000 coins. Now, these cards that are out of packs and rare, they do have the potential to rebound. So if you watch the drops long enough, if it's a rare card, popular player, usable card in game, you can see some flips. Like this Conte card yesterday, I watched him on stream sell for 150,000 coins flat. We could have bought that and then sold it now for 170K, and that's a pretty good flip. So you can definitely watch these cards. They fluctuate like crazy, right? He was just 172. Now he's 158 again. Like that, if I see a 150 Conte, like I am going to go buy that because... That is a card that it's Conte, man. And this Conte gets chemistry. I know that he has an SBC that's out right now that maybe not a lot of people want to do. But this is a card that you could 100% trade with. Like if I can get a bid or a snipe or something here, I'm going to watch that because if I get it at 150, I'm going to buy it. And that would be a card that I could trade with because if I search up to 170K, I mean, like, yeah, that's a pretty easy sale, I believe, on a player as popular as Conte. So watch the market for that sort of stuff. 
but it's going to be a bit grindy and I don't see a lot of prices rebounding a ton just because it feels like the market is very dead at the moment, especially on meta cards. Now, part of the market that is up, and I know some of you guys made some coins off of this this week, which is very good. Team of the Weeks, Informs, 22,000 coins a piece. In my opinion, your sell time on Informs is probably today probably today because people are going to start to think to start selling these after content today with uh you get a new team of the week that's coming and not that that's going to impact these prices too much but you also have again tomorrow on thursday you have the new season you got rivals rewards you got marquee matchups which brings tradable supply so i think that the peak on team of the weeks could be today i mean i would get out to be safe you could hold them all the way until friday morning if you wanted to i don't remember if team of the week spiked on friday morning of uh, last week with the 83 times 10 as people were getting that done right away before the new promo came out. That could be the case as well, but it's completely up to you. I mean, nice rise on those, right? 22, 23, 24,000 coins. We'll probably be able to sell them at today. Again, if you want to hold on a little bit more list for lazies, but that's kind of the fodder market that is up. 87s yesterday with that requirement in the player pick went up a little bit. High rated fodder is up a little. Like, yeah, I remember 90s were 46K at one moment yesterday so they're up a little right you see them now at 48,000 coins um i guess maybe people are crafting a few of the sbcs in that section but if i was looking at this fodder right now to invest i think i would still hold off for a couple of days um unless there's a leak that comes out today for a big time player sbc like expensive icon sbc like i'm talking a future stars icon like somebody who's going to be millions plus that's when you want to maybe go in and some of this fodder but i think for right now it's up a little just um maybe because we didn't have as much supply yesterday if we get more supply today especially tomorrow on thursday i would start to look at the high rated fodder again uh, because it is overall very very low but i just don't know what's going to be hype enough to push that fodder up at least a considerable amount in the next couple of days so just be careful with that investment there now let's talk about today on wednesday what is wednesday content going to bring us today and there's actually a couple interesting things that I want to point out about content coming today. First of all, we are expected to get the Pundit Picks DePaul. This was leaked mistakenly by DeZone earlier in the week. 90 passing, 89 dribbling. Those are the official stats. That's a good looking card. It comes down to the playstyle pluses, which I have to imagine they would only give him one. But if they give him two, this might be a card that uh, makes Atletico Madrid links go crazy. If it's that hyped again you know when they drop hype sbcs people buy the links to that card to get the chemistry going in their teams so watch that i wouldn't say go invest but if the sbc looks cracked right away on the drop two play style pluses i think is the key and those stats then maybe his price could or his sbc could make some other prices go up but that could be our sbc player today as it was leaked earlier in the week there is one more player sbc that's been leaked now uh sole Forget how to say his name. Sule, I think is how you say his name. Um, he is a rising star, a future star, right? This is the promo. He's on loan from Juventus um, in the Serie A, and he looks pretty good. He actually has four-star, four-star, and technical playstyle on his base silver card. So whether that's an objective that comes out on uh, Friday or uh, for the new promo, or if it's an SBC that comes out maybe tomorrow on Thursday, that's a card for you Serie A guys. You might get a little excited for there probably one play style plus though not a double ps plus uh, for that one now speaking of leaks two more things to mention first of all new team of the week today and wow it actually looks cracked like Vinny jr getting in team of the week today i mean looks like we're having multiple big name players in this team of the week Vinny jr being one of them nice promo card for him that probably won't break the bank like all of his other ones are like the uh thunderstruck and the honorable mention card from team of the year this might be a Vinny Jr. that's like, of course, expensive, but not as expensive as some of those. So watch out for that today, as well as another Erling Holland inform. He's getting a new promo card today, so watch out for that. And Teo Hernandez, those three in the same team of the week, that is really, really cracked. So watch out for those guys today because there will be some demand for those since it's just special cards, new versions for those very big name players. And the last thing I'd tell you to watch out for would be some more leaks of future stars i'm out last week on i think it was wednesday last week we had the loading screen that showed us the first glimpse of the future stars promo i'm not thinking that we get a loading screen today per se just because we still have team one going on but watch out because we definitely need some more leaks news and info i could see today on wednesday is a day where people start to spread that information that they have online about that sort of thing so watch out for that for sure and we're going to end the video today guys just a little bit of a flex, I guess you could say. If you didn't see it on Twitter yesterday, 
I opened an 84 times five, just a testament to the menu grind. Haven't spent more than 10,000 coins buying gold rares, probably like 5K buying gold rares and stocking the club so I can keep doing 80 plus player picks with the non rares that you get from crafting, right? Packed Trinity Rodman untradeable. Can't actually believe that I saw the USA walkout animation and it wasn't the center back Gurma, it was Rodman. So we have now got a striker slash right wing that goes boom straight to the team. Right now she's on the bench because I'm waiting to try her card out today on stream and division rivals as we try to get our games and wins in. But that is super exciting as well as the 89 rated Richards that we were just finishing with the team of the year center back prospect Evo. So the team just got a new addition yesterday. Got very lucky. I think I was doing the math. I think that's my out of a regular pack, not like an icon player pick or anything. That is my best most expensive untradeable pack pull of the year. So that's crazy. Uh, her card being 700,000 coins packing her yesterday was pretty nuts. But hopefully today, EA, I mean, EA, just give us something to do today. I mean, apart from the, the menu grind, it is very good. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to redeem these packs, get some rivals games in today. Make sure you try to get all the XP that you can if you're still working towards level 20. And uh, hopefully we can get some flips and some action on the market today as well with the road to the finals with those games going on. There should be some fluctuations in price. But be very careful if you don't want to lose coins. If you're not going to be paying attention during the games, sell those cards into the hype so you don't have to worry about it. But guys, that's the video for me today. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for Accountant. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. Peace. Out.